Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Today I thought I would try my hand at a get ready with me video. It is New Year's Eve and I'm not doing anything. So before we get into this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Like this video if you like this sort of um, style video. So yeah, let's get ready. My back hurts so bad, like my shoulder bleed. I need a massage. Oh, okay, so I don't even know what kind of look I want to do, to be honest. I'm not doing anything. I'm not going out anywhere. I don't even remember the last time I went out for New Year's Eve, to be honest. Because I'm an old woman now. I already got my face primed and moisturized and all that good stuff, so I'm going to go in with a foundation. I think I'm going to do this Stay Luminous um, Foundation by CoverGirl, 842. And I'm just going to do very light foundation today because, like I said, I'm not going anywhere. I'm literally just relaxing at home all day. But I want glowy skin, so I'm going to try this here. This is the... Mana Kadar Glow Illuminator Step 3. I don't know, got this in a nipsy bag, but I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna add just a little bit to my foundation and see what happens. What glowy skin today? I look so pale. I'm honestly so tired. I think I woke up like an hour ago. I could literally sleep all day long. I really wish I could. But I can't. I have children. I like to wake up early. So. I hope everyone had a nice Christmas. Mine was fun. I think as a parent, like, I just think it's just so much more exciting to wake up Christmas morning and just see, you know, the looks on their faces when, you know, Santa came and eat all the cookies and drink the milk and all that fun stuff. I think that's just so exciting as a parent. I think I love Christmas now as a mom than, I don't know, it's just more exciting to me now than I think of, like when I was a kid. But I'm excited for next year because my son is two, so he's kind of getting it. So I think next year, I think he'll, he'll get it so much more. It'll be more exciting. I kind of like how this foundation went on my skin. I have used it before, but I'm just lightly getting it in there, and I think it looks really nice. Natural, not crazy. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what look I want to do, like I said. But I don't think I want to go heavy, because I'm not doing anything today. I'm not even going to Target, which is strange, because it's like my, my daily thing, is to go out to Target. Love target. So I'm gonna go in with my bare skin um, concealer by Bare Minerals. It's one of my favorites because it's like not too heavy but conceals everything I need it to. And oh my god, I don't even know how I'm applying this today. Just whatever. New Year's resolutions. I have three resolutions for this coming year and they are all so cliche and they are, let's see, make more money, obviously. Who doesn't want to make more money? That's like a resolution for every day. To be more organized, that's been my resolution all my life. And my third resolution is to be healthier, eat healthier, um, work out again. Like, I used to be super fit and then I became a mom and then that all went out the window because I'm like, I don't have time. But I think not having time is an excuse, but it's a very good one because I don't have time. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely want to get back to the gym, start eating a little bit better, which I have gotten a jump start on. I started the keto diet four days ago. I started, what the hell, light? Oh, that light keeps going out. It's haunted, I swear. 
Um, so yeah, I started the keto diet four days ago and I've lost three pounds. So not mad about that. The only thing is I love carbs and I didn't realize how, like I didn't think I ate too many carbs to begin with until four days ago. So yeah, now I'm like, my favorite yogurt has like 30 carbs in it and I don't know, that's just too much for one sitting. They want like, they say 5% of your daily carbs, that's, that's it, of whatever you're getting, 5% of what you're eating should be carbs. I don't know, it's, it'll be a little challenging at first, but I just gotta keep going and keep doing it, and I don't eat meat, so that's gonna be another challenge, I think, for me, so finding other sources of protein and fat and stuff, but so far, so good. I mean, I am a little miserable, but I think that'll pass once my body gets used to it. So the way keto works is you essentially, like, eat fat to burn fat, and it, like, we've been, you know, programmed all our life to, you know, use carbs as energy, and carbs break down into sugars, and, you know, it's no bueno. Like, I'm new to this keto thing, so don't, don't get mad at me if I don't say things completely the right way. But anyway, so what this keto diet is, is it completely turns your metabolism around instead of burning carbs for energy. It uses fat to burn energy and will burn the fat in your body. I don't know. But anyway, that's what I'm, I'm working on right now. So hopefully it works out. I think in four days it has, I don't know why I keep powdering my face. I can't focus. I can't do two things at once, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I don't remember what I was talking about. Uh, what are some of your resolutions? I'm kind of interested. I mean, I know how many of you actually watch my videos. It's like I'm talking to myself. But yeah, I'm interested in knowing what you guys' resolutions are. Like, is anyone else doing a keto diet? How's it working for you? I really want a piece of bread. I'm so tired. I'm so out of it right now. I wanted to use something new, but I don't know where anything's- Oh! Meet the Frank! I did this in my last video. No one watched it though. So, so this is a bronzer by Lisa Frank. And it is the Bitten and Bronze Matte Bronzer by Glamour Dolls. And it's okay, it's decent. But first, I'm gonna contour my face actually before I get into that with some contour. And I'm using the Pro Fusion Contour Kit, which I actually really like. Got it at Target. So I'm gonna use that today as I find my brush, because you know. Like I said, gotta be more organized, can't find anything. So here we go. I have like used this brush like like I broke it. I mean it wasn't really that glued on there to begin with, but you know. So I'm going in with a median, 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 medium contour. Oh my god. I think another resolution of mine is to get better at technology. Like for instance, my camera is always cutting out, and then I'll look, and I'll see that it's no longer recording, and it's like, crap, I just talked for like an hour straight, and none of that was captured. So, I'm going in with this, with my Luxie bronzing brush, I don't even know what brush this is. Oh, it's a highlighter brush, but it's perfect for my face, I don't know. I feel like you can use brushes for whatever, honestly. Are there any rules of makeup? Because it's art. Who cares? You know, just do it. But this is what I'm using, and I like it because it gets in the hollows of my face really well. So this is what I like to use and what I use normally. Like I said, I have, I have others that I like better for highlights, so I like this one for this. I feel like I've just talked too much about this brush that we don't need to really keep talking about it. Yeah. Need a cup of coffee with butter. <laughs> Just kidding. I think that's like one of the 
first keto things I've ever heard of was like the coffee with butter. I don't know. I don't, that just, that grosses me out. I don't know if I could do that. But I'm so used to having my coffee with skim milk, which is a no-no, I guess, because there's too many carbs in it. So heavy cream is the way to go because there's no carbs in that. Now I'm going to go back into the Lisa Frank bronzer and just bronze up my face a little bit more. That is, is that the, hmm. I can go back in with that same brush. And lightly because this has some pigment to it. Please watch that other video. Come on guys. I'm not that terrible, am I? Maybe I'm not exciting. Maybe nobody likes my videos because I'm boring. I am boring. I don't do anything. I'm so boring. Alright, I think my face is bronzed way too much. So now I'm going to move on to the eyes, I think. So I'm going to go back in with that concealer. And then that is just going to act as a base for my eyeshadow. And then I'm going to powder it up to set it. I feel like this year just flew by so fast. Like, I don't know, when I think about it and think that we're like pretty much two decades into the 2000s, it's just, it blows my mind. Every year just goes by faster and faster. So I'm going to go into this blush, blushed neutrals palette by BH Cosmetics that I did talk about in a previous video as well. Link it somewhere up top. And so yeah, we go into this I think. Yeah, why not? Okay, so I think I'm going to pretty much do a neutral kind of eye today. So that's what that looks like. Hmm, I got this new brush, so I think I'm going to use this. This is the Luxie 239 Precision Shader Brush, and I think I'm going to go in with, this is a blush, let's see. I'm going to go in with this color. I know it's a blush, but no rules. We go in, and that is what I'm going to use as a transition, probably. I've never done one of these videos before, so it's like, I don't really know what to talk about. Or I keep like jumping all over the place, which I guess is okay too. It makes it more entertaining. So as far as like exciting things that's happened this year or any like major things that's happened, I can't really say much has. I mean, I did have my second baby in the summertime. I think that was pretty much the only, only major thing to happen. At least that I can think of. I think that's it. I have nothing coming up next year that I know of so far. I mean, we are going on our annual Tennessee road trip in July, which I'm always looking forward to. And I'm doing, I'm going to a nail show as well while we're there. So we're kind of like, you know, working it around that. So yeah, like, so I don't know how many people actually know this who just watch my channel, all two of you. I'm actually a licensed nail tech. I don't know why the word did not want to come out. So yeah, I'm going to this nail show. I've been to one this year that was actually pretty exciting. I actually did like some kind of like vlog style thing that I just never got around to posting. Maybe I will post that at some point. I think while I'm there, I may do like some kind of vlog stuff and show you like what goes on in the nail show. It is pretty fun. Like, I went to the one in October and I literally bought like a thousand dollars worth of stuff and I haven't even gotten around to playing with a lot of it because I've just been so busy. But I need to, need to. So I don't know, if anyone is interested in nail videos, maybe I'll post some. So if you are, let me know down below. Give me a yay or an A for that, because I don't know. I do nails too. I'm going to go in with this one that I gouged with my thumbnail, this one at the end. So I think I'm going to go in with that same brush, actually. Because, I don't know. No rules today. I'm going to go into my crease with this.
just deepening that crease just a little bit. I don't know if you can hear my son screaming downstairs. <laughs> I'm actually kind of curious as to how many of you actually keep the packaging, like the boxes and stuff for your makeup palettes. I mean, I used to all the time. Now it's just like they take up so much space. So I don't, I don't know. So let me know if you keep those. I want to know how many people actually keep them or if it's just me that's insane. So I think I'm going to go in with, once again, my camera pooped out on me. So I think I'm going to go in with this shade here and this one. Can you see that? I can't see myself. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Those two, I'm going to mix them together and that's what I'm going to put into my crease. I'm going to use my Lisa Frank brush. So that is going to go on the outer corner and into the crease. Get a little bit more depth. So I'm going to go into this shade here, which is kind of like a rose, rosy gold kind of color. Oh, I should just wash it for you. I'm making a mess on my hands. Okay, so this is what that looks like. Ooh, wow, that was a bad swatch. So that is what that looks like there. And that's pretty. I think that's the color I'm going to pack onto my lid. I'm going to take some Fix Plus, spray that, and I'm going to go in with that color. So next I'm actually going to go in with this little duo by Pixie, and this is Wicked Ornaments. I'm going to go in with that lighter shade here, and that is what I'm going to put on the center of my eyelid. I'm going to go back into this color and that color, and blend that together with my crease and that metallic shadow that we just put on there. everything to flow together. And whatever is left over on that brush, I'm just going to drag it on my lower lash line. All right, that is that. I'm done with that palette. Now I'm gonna go into some blush. I'm using the Romantic Rose Powder Brush by Milani. I said powder brush, didn't I? powder blush. Okay. Oh. Why does it smell so bad? Like it smells so stinky. Oh. It smells like old lady. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like the smell. I like the color, not the smell. I don't know, it reminds me of like old lady department store smell. Does that make sense? Now I'm going to do some highlights and I have this highlighting brush by Murphy that I did get in my last video. If you saw that, you would know. Let's see, I'm going to go into some highlights. I'm going back in with my sleek highlighter, the Solstice palette. Also palettes, that's not that. And I don't know, I think I'm going to go in with this rosy one here. I just, I love this. I love this so much. I'm from New England and I can't find this anywhere. Like, I just so happened to find that gift set in Walgreens, but other than that, I can't find it anywhere. I mean, I've tried like three different Walgreens and Target, I think, sells it online. It's like, ooh, I don't mind buying things online, but it's like when you want something right now, you know? Ugh, whatever. That's the world today. Pretty soon we'll be buying everything online. There'll be no stores. I went ahead and did my liner and my lashes and my brows a little bit. So... Yeah, now I think what's left are my lips. Lip. I think I'm going to use this Magnetic Matte Lip Color by Nude Sticks. I actually really like it. It's messy. 
It's nice and creamy. And I do really like it. For my mascara, if anybody is interested, I did use the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Looks like this. Um, I do really like it. It's not a new product, but it's... I've been using it for a while now and I really like it. It looks similar in packaging to another mascara. That was my holy grail forever. But this one is pretty good. I like it. That's what we're running with today. Thank you for watching my video, you guys. I hope I get this out by the end of today, at least. Um, you all have a happy and safe new year. Let me know down in the comments below if you like this type of video from me. Um, let me know what your plans are for New Year's. I'm, I'm pretty curious as to what everyone else is doing. I'm going to live through you because I will be home. You all have a wonderful new year and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Glossy, glossy, gloss. Where are my glosses? Just realized I never turned on my ring light. Fuck. Damn it. <sighs>